To the right side is to the south, since they are flying upside down and backwards. That's almost 180 miles down to Gutenberg from where they are. Joe is Joe Engel, the capsule communicator. Jack, they refer to as Jack Schmidt, an astronaut geologist who uh, trains the other astronauts in these lunar features. Jack, you're looking at some of those uh, depressions that go right through uh, some of the craters now, and, and they're very flat, and uh, where the shadow, where they're shallow, uh, we can see right to the bottom of them. Good. differing theories as to what causes those craters on the moon. Some believe that they are impacts from meteorites. The moon has been bombarded by them through its long geological history. Others that uh, they may have been caused by the volcanic action. should be just about opposite uh, landing site one at this time. Yeah, that's right. to the impact theory of the splash marks uh, around some of these craters. We've not seen any particularly noticeable ones in this transmission. They are to be seen others, other pictures. You ought to be looking uh, just about right in the area of B1 right now. Roger, we're picking it up, Jane. We've got it in the upper left-hand uh, portion of our screen now. And, uh, I don't know what... This okay, I don't know whether Tom can uh, scan on Censorina, but Censorina should be just to the right of that, in the hill. Roger, we copy. And you had a real interesting little dome with about five or six uh, small craters in it there that was an awful interesting look at. Yeah, around this area, you can tell there's typically a lot of volcanic activity and cones in there. That's Venus from the oblique view. Sensorinus is a relatively new lunar crater and of great scientific interest. Here we come. Here's, here's the crater masculine. Roger, we copy. You can see the shadow in it. Roger, it stands out real good, Tom. The shadow's in there like there might be a boulder. There's masculine. Okay, we're going to try and show you some of these wells. Uh, Diamondback uh, rail and the Sidewinder rail that are going across here are very distinctive. They're going to be very shallow in areas, and, uh, and the bottom seems smooth. However, some of the area that goes perpendicular to the sunline is uh, deep enough to be in shadow. Okay, we copy all that. Yeah. Named by a command pilot from Weatherford, Oklahoma. We know something about Diamondbacks and Sidewinders. Oh, yeah, 10 inches used in those reels, and uh, all these details are really coming out great. And that color doesn't hurt a thing. Okay, uh, Tom's going to try and get you Moki, and 
Site 2 is where Neil Armstrong and his crew of Apollo 11 expected to land in July. Okay, Tom, and could you go uh, to the inside on ALP and the 2.2 uh, on your camera now? They're coming into the dark point of the moon. It's still the part of the moon facing us, but as you know, we have just barely a quarter moon, and the, they're passing over that dark line between the bright side of the moon reflecting the sun's light and the dark side which the sun has not yet reached. Magnificent pictures from the moon. The first color pictures from the moon by the second spaceship full of voyagers to that distant planet. Magnificent pictures, including a sight just before they went into the lunar darkness there of the. Kenneth and Houston, uh, before you terminate the TV, oh. before you secure it, we'd like to have a uh, color chart shot so we can uh, calibrate things. Uh, the point where Apollo 11 is scheduled to land. Uh, in July, if all continues to go as well as it has with this flight. They're going to show now a color chart, the line there, cameras. They're going to get ready now for the next uh, major event of their epical voyage, and that's at 10.30 uh, tonight when Eugene Cernan, for the first time, leaves the command module and climbs into the lunar module to test out its systems for tomorrow's uh, great flight when they depart from the command module in the lunar module and swoop down within 10 miles of that landing site, too. You just had a very good look at through television from the moon. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 10 will continue in a moment. 